Franken replacement's past confirms she'll be 10x worse than he ever was. Embattled and disgraced Minnesota Senator Al Franken recently announced he would be resigning, at some unspecified date, due to several allegations of sexual harassment and impropriety lodged against him. On Wednesday, CNN reported that Minnesota Lt. Gov. Tina Smith, was chosen by Democrat Minnesota Gov. Mark Dutton to replace Franken for essentially a one-year term in the Senate that will conclude in January 2019. Smith will then likely run for a full term in the 2018 election. Dayton called Smith a person of the highest integrity and ability, who will be a superb senator, representing the best interests of our state and our citizens. Franken also expressed approval for his chosen successor. Upon hearing the news, Smith stated, Though I never anticipated this moment, I am resolved to do everything I can to move Minnesota forward, and I will be a fierce advocate in the United States Senate for the economic opportunity and fairness. According to Life News, Smith will also be a fierce advocate for on-demand, and taxpayer-funded, abortion as she is a former top executive for the state's Planned Parenthood affiliate. Gov. Mark Dutton's appointment of Tina Smith to represent Minnesota in the U.S. Senate is overwhelmingly disappointing to the state's pro-life majority, lamented Leo Lalonde, president of Minnesota Citizens Concerned for Life. An abortion industry insider, Ms. Smith is a former vice president of Planned Parenthood in Minnesota, the state's leading performer of abortion, Lalonde continued. The choice of Ms. Smith is particularly egregious to Minnesota's pro-life citizens, who will have no representation in the Senate. Most Minnesotans are pro-life. They support greater protection for unborn human beings. Minnesotans need someone who will fight for justice for the most vulnerable among us, the unborn, he added. Smith served as VP of Minnesota's Planned Parenthood from January 2003 to February 2006 and during that time increased the numbers of abortions performed in the state by roughly 22 percent. She also secured nearly half a million dollars in taxpayer funds from Minnesotans as reimbursements for abortions performed on low-income women, and managed to secure $12.65 million in government grants for the abortion business between 2003 and 2005. During her time as an executive for the state's largest abortion provider, she fought tooth and nail against every piece of pro-life legislation put forward. That ferocity against protections for the unborn only continued in earnest after she left Planned Parenthood and entered the world of politics. According to the Twin Cities Pioneer Press, Smith served as chief of staff for former Minneapolis Mayor R.T. Ryback from 2006 to 2010. Following Ryback's unsuccessful run in 2010 for the Democrat nomination as governor, a campaign she managed, Smith switched over to the winner's team and served as chief of staff for Gov. Dayton from 2011 to 2015. She became the state's lieutenant governor in 2015. Life News reported that, as Dayton's chief of staff and lieutenant governor, she played a role in convincing Dayton to veto numerous pro-life bills that had been passed by the legislature. Some of the bills that were vetoed included common-sense measures that would have been taxpayer-funded abortions or cut off public funding to abortion facilities, as well as a measure that would require licensing and inspections for said facilities, not to mention bills that would provide protections to pain-capable fetuses or provide alternatives to pregnant women instead of abortion. Senator Franken was no angel, and he most certainly supported abortion, among the rest of his progressive big government policies. But in the blunt words of Lalonde, Tina Smith is, without a doubt, the abortion senator. Hopefully the pro-life citizens of Minnesota will turn out in force in 2018 to ensure that this vociferous proponent for the murder of unborn babies will only serve that one-year term in office. Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter to let everyone know about the extremely pro-abortion Democrat who has been named to take over for Al Franken as Minnesota's junior senator. What do you think of a former Planned Parenthood VP being named as the next senator from Minnesota? Scroll down to comment below.